Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts with Hebrew chapter 1, verse 9, followed by Pat's two cents. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God, has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Do you know joy comes with holiness? Joy comes with a holy life. Joy, peace, gladness, fulfillment, inner satisfaction. I am telling you, when you live according to the ways of God, when you establish a relationship to the point where he even manifests himself to you and you have true understanding of the scriptures because the Holy Spirit has opened your eyes and you are fed and filled and invigorated and, and charged up by the word of God and the things and the ways of God and the love of God. I'm telling you the truth. You have no need to be in despair. You have no need of fear. Fear is not of God. Fear has torment. God is love and perfect love cast out fear. When you are full of God, when you are full of faith in God, your joy is much greater than those who are not. And that's a good way to take your temperature. When you are filled with that joy, when you can find beauty in the ugliest moments, as God enabled me to when my husband was dying over 33 days, as we slowly and gradually kept saying goodbye to each other and how much we loved each other, in spite of the fact that the death part was an ugly part of the whole scenario, the love, our feast of charity that God had placed between us ended up being such a, a, an experience of fullness, of gratitude. When you depend on God, when you lean on God with all you have, with all your might, you can't help but see beauty. You can't help but feel joy, even in the saddest moments. You can't help but bask in the love of God. You can't help but be full at times when normally you should feel empty. God makes all the difference. That's one of the benefits of being close to God walking with God, feeding off of his love, his wisdom, his power, his fellowship. I'm not going to go on because I'm getting a little emotional, but I say this, the joy of the Lord is your strength, and his strength is always made perfect in our weaknesses. God bless you especially if you're feeling weak in through here.